It's, it's horrific. Thursday afternoon, officers combed through the crime scene as those on the other side of the tape looked on in shock and sadness. Places like this should be a, a, literally a sacred place. They should be a place of peace, a place where people can congregate, be in a community, feel safe. Around 145, neighbors reported the sounds of gunfire. And when police arrived, they found three male victims, one deceased and the other two injured from a shooting. According to officers, the two injured were younger than 18 and were taken to Salem Health for care. Police did not release the age of the person who died. I can't imagine losing a child that way. I can't imagine having one of my kids being involved in something like that. Lee Verana works at the hospital nearby. He's seen the effects of violence like this up close. And I've been a physician for well over 30 years, and I've seen trauma. Uh, one of my first, my first night as a doctor was a, I was compelled to do CPR on a 21-year-old who had been shot that night. Like many, he hopes to see an end to the senseless shooting, something many community members called for at a forum less than 24 hours prior. I don't know what the answers are. I do know that I don't feel that guns should be as readily available in this country as they are. School officials confirmed the nearby South Salem High School was locked down for a couple of hours and students instructed to avoid this area on their way home as police continued their investigation. Salem PD did not name a suspect or report any arrests. In Salem, Alma McCarty, KGW News. Thanks for watching. Stay updated about breaking news and top stories on the NBC News app or follow us on social media.